You're watching This Is Pentecost Fellowship Ministry with Pastor Tamara Bennett. Pentecost is not a denomination. It is an experience. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham. God needed to push Abraham's faith. He needed to do that because he was going to make Abraham a great and mighty nation. And so he had to push Abraham out of his comfort zone. Because God is the author and the of our faith, because he knows why he saved you, and because he knows where he's taking you, throughout your walk, it's necessary for him to tempt you or push you to believe him a little more. That comes with something that's called an obstacle. So sometimes God have to push you in your faith because of where he's taking you. And because where you are, your faith is too low to accomplish what he needs you to accomplish by faith. Can I work? I, I, I need to go up here a minute. I need y'all to come up here with me. Can you come up here with me? You don't know the end of where he's taking you. You don't know what he wants to use you for. You don't know what he's purpose in your life. Sometimes God have to tempt you, challenge your faith. And when your faith gets challenged, that means you're going to be put in circumstances that are hard. Faith does not get challenged when things are easy. Are y'all working with me? Faith is not made out of simple things. Faith, God is made in impossible things. Faith is made, it's built up in you. You know why it gets built up in you? Because you won't stop until it happens. It gets built up, it gets built up. So the more the devil says no, something in you says, oh yes it is, devil, yes it is. And the more circumstances say it ain't going to work, something in you say, oh yes it is, devil, it's going to work. Faith gets built up, but God is doing that because he knows where he's taking you. So here's Abraham. It was necessary that God tempt him where it tempted him the most. Because I'm about to make you a father of many, many nations. So he tempted him and he said, Abraham, I want you to take your son, your only son, that you love and that I gave you by faith. The son that you wasn't supposed to have, that you was a hundred. <laughs> and your wife was nine. And I gave you this miracle baby. I need you to take that baby. And I need you to take him up to this mountain. Tenth verse, and Abraham stretched forth his hand. And now he got the knife. While his son is laying at the altar. Because God was tempting Abraham. And all Abraham said, one thing, by faith, the Lord going to provide. I don't know when he's going to provide, but right now all I got is you, son. So he got his knife, and he's pulling his knife back. 11 verse says, just about when he's about to come down, and the angel of the Lord called him out of heaven. And I, and I, I ain't trying to be funny, but I'm glad he said his name twice. <laughs> Abraham! He had to stop. Abraham, hold on, wait. Because Abraham was so determined to obey God all the time saying, but he's going to provide something else. So he got the knife, and before he could go down, he said, Abraham! He had to call him twice. Don't, don't, don't do it, Abraham. Hold up. So God pushed Abraham's faith and his obedience to say, really, how far? Will you go for me? Pushed him. But it was necessary. Because Abraham, you're going to stand in the gap for thousands and hundreds of thousands. And it's necessary that you know how I operate. 
And so right when he was about to kill his own son, the Lord stopped him. And there was a sacrifice. Faith is the substance of things and the evidence of Abraham spoke a ram in the bush to come into existence that was not there. He's given me everything I wanted, everything I needed. It's more than enough for all of the days that I pleaded. And it's sweeter than I could imagine, greater than I could conceive. By giving him my heart, trusting and believing. He's given me everything I wanted, everything I needed. It's more than enough for all of the days.